guys, and welcome to another Escape Wheel Watch Review. Today we're going to be looking at the Alpha Chronograph. So you can pick this up from the Alpha93USA.com website. It's a brand new website, USA stock of all the Alpha watches. Really, really nice guy running the store. He uh, sent me four watches in for review, so I don't get to keep these watches, but uh, yeah, uh, I figured I'd get a nice review of them for you guys and uh, point out that there is a new US-based location, so I will leave the link down below. I'm also going to leave the link to the other Alpha stores. There's, I believe, three total now. So, um, yeah, definitely go check them out. They got some really cool watches. Like I mentioned, this one is $180. You can get it in uh, this cream colorway. You can get it in black and you can get it in red. And then you also have a uh, black aluminum insert or you can get a polished bezel. So, uh, lots of options for you to choose from. Go check them out and pick out the one you like. Um, but let's get right into this review. First off, I just want to, again, say a huge thank you to Alpha 93 USA uh, for sending these watches in. Uh, really appreciate it. I love these watches and happy that I actually get to check them out again. The case diameter on this one is 39.8 millimeters. The case thickness is 15.4, and that's to the acrylic crystal. You have 20 millimeter lug width, and the overall case length from lug to lug is 48.4 millimeters. So it's got really nice uh, dimensions, I think. Um, very happy with the way this thing wears. I'm gonna go outside right now and throw it on the wrist for you. So here it is on my seven and a half inch inch wrist. And as you can see, it fits great. It looks awesome. I just love the way it looks. It's, uh, yeah. You can see it does sit a little bit flat, but the lug to lug is manageable. So it, uh, it should fit a lot of uh, wrist sizes here. Get out in some direct sunlight. And there you go. And you can see no AR coating on the uh, acrylic crystal, but it's super clear. So there's not much glare. And with the white dial, it, it, it makes it pretty easy to read. So, um, yeah, I think it looks great, though. But I'm going to go inside, put it on a couple straps, and we'll get back. And here it is. Um, one of my favorite brown vintage Vario straps. Uh, it just looks great. Uh, really looks good brings out the vintage vibes be, vibes even more I think I'll go throw it on uh, a couple more straps for you and here we are on uh, just a regular NATO strap still sitting pretty good uh, happy with the way this thing looks as well got one last strap that I want to throw it on and we'll get back to the review nice so here we are on a elastic uh, kind of pass or single pass strap um, olive and white and that wouldn't be my first choice just because the white doesn't really match but uh, it still looks pretty good still super comfortable really like the way this thing uh, wears so um yeah let me know which one you guys like best but let's go back inside and we'll get back to the review let's talk about the case finishing on this thing so uh, as typical with a vintage rolex homage you have a Kind of a 45 degree angle on the brushing it's not a circular brushing but it's like a 45 degree angle on the the top of the lugs there it's a pretty coarse brushing it's not a very fine brushing but again it's typical with the uh, vintage homages and that's that's kind of the the thing with alpha is they make vintage homages and they they keep a lot of the characteristics of those vintage homages so uh, really nice to see you do have a polished side here you got a nice sign crown at the three o'clock position the other side is completely blank and nicely polished as well. And then you do have drilled lugs, which is uh, really nice for swapping out these straps. The case finishing on the back, very simple. It's a simple brush finishing. You do have a display case back showing off the Siegel ST19. Um, the crown is a screw down crown and this is 30 meters of water resistant. So um, yeah, that's kind of a spec sheet for you. Uh, really happy with the case finishing on this thing. I think it looks great. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but this colorway and that case finishing, uh, it all just works for me, and I, I just love it. The bezel on this, I'm going to give you a little side profile shot here. Really nicely done. It's a polished uh, bezel, and then you got a aluminum insert. Uh, really nicely done. It is a tachymeter bezel insert. And the interesting thing about this is that uh, normal tachymeters, they start and end at 12 o'clock position. This one actually starts at the 3 o'clock position and then ends at that 3, eh, you know, 2.30 position. So it actually goes all the way around and past the 12 o'clock position. So you can measure accurately to 50 units per hour, which most chron chronographs don't really allow. 
So it's, it's nice to see that. Um, the crystal on this, it's an acrylic crystal. Again, uh, that vintage Rolex style. And uh, very nicely domed. Lots of distortion. It's really nice and clear. Obviously, these uh, acrylic crystals, they're going to scratch like crazy. So um, pick yourself up some uh, poly watch and just buff those, cr those crystals out. And uh, yeah, it'll be good as new. So really, really enjoying this, uh, this acrylic crystal. It looks absolutely beautiful. So let's talk about the dial on this version. So this one, uh, like I mentioned, this is the Paul Newman uh, colorway. Uh, so you have a nice creamy color. There you can see it against my white gloves. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, creamy color dial. There is ever so slight amount of texture to it. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see it with the naked eye if you look really close, but uh, for the most part, it just looks like a matte uh, cream color dial. You do have an applied alpha logo at the 12 o'clock position with alpha 1993 mechanical chronometer. So there's that chronometer text again. Uh, obviously this isn't a certified chronometer, but uh, chronometer by definition is a time telling machine. So it's not lying, but um, I, I kind of wish they would drop that because it's just not necessary. And I think it's a little bit too much text there at the 12 o'clock maybe. Um, I know they're trying to balance out the six o'clock sub dial, but uh, yeah, just, just drop that I think. Uh, you do have applied indexes at the hour markers, and then you also have loom plots at the hour markers. Uh, very tiny, and it's, they're pretty hard to see in everyday use, um, but they're there, and they are actually useful. We'll get to a loom shot here in just a second. Uh, the hands on these, nicely faceted, uh, super clean, not not much dust or anything on this thing. Uh, that's one thing I noticed with Alpha, they must have a just a, a very nice assembly facility because... Uh, there's not much dust in this thing compared to some of the other watches you, uh, that come off of AliExpress. Um, the very clean dial. So let's talk about the subdials real quick. So we have a three o'clock subdial here. This is the chronograph counter. So this will tick over once the chronograph second hand goes all the way around. Uh, you have a running second hand at the nine o'clock position. And then down at the six o'clock position, you have the 24 hour hand. So uh, really nice, uh, nicely done subdials. Uh, the hands I think are done nicely. The printing is done nicely. It's got that nice radial texture to it. Gives it a really cool look, I think. The chapter ring on this thing, which I believe is accurate to the Paul Newman, is red. It's a black background with red minute markers. It's hard to read accurately on this thing, um, but yeah, you can read it if you if you get it in the right lighting. So uh, I kind of wish they would have gone white, but I know why they went red. Uh, you do have that nice red chronograph text above that 24-hour uh, dial, though, so that looks really nice. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, uh, the loom on this thing, uh, it's actually pretty decent. So here's a loom shot. You can see it next to the Corju Speedmaster on the left and then a San Martin Submariner on the right. Obviously, it's not going to compete with a dive watch, but it actually does really well for uh, a chronograph with such small loom plot areas. So... Um, really happy with the loom on this thing. I wouldn't buy it for the loom, but the loom actually doesn't disappoint. So uh, really happy with that. Let's talk about the movement in this. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the Seagull ST1903. They also call it the Seagull TY2903. And I believe it's just different uh, manufacturing locations for the watch. It's the same movement, just a slightly different name. The movement is operated by the screw down crown at the three o'clock position. Like I mentioned earlier, that is a signed screw down crown. You do get a nice satisfying pop out right there. Uh, first position is hand winding. I'm not gonna wind it because it's fully wound right now. Um, the second position, you pull it out and it does not hack the movement. As you can see, the, hit, the second hand still running there. Uh, but that does allow you to set the time on it. You push it back in, screw down the crown. Nice, smooth crown action on this one. Um, the pushers are also screwed down. And they're more solid feeling than the Parnas and the Pagani chronograph. So that's nice to see. Uh, clicking the top one starts that chronograph second hand. It ticks around at about five ticks per second, I believe. And uh, you stop it and reset it with the bottom one and it snaps right back into position. So really happy with the chronograph movement on this thing. I've had this in a couple watches now and uh, it just doesn't disappoint. I really like it. Very, very happy with it overall. Let's talk about the bracelet here. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, it's a 20 millimeter bracelet. It tapers down to 16 millimeters at the clasp. It's a solid link bracelet, but it is not solid end links. So you do have hollow end links. They are female end links, which, which is nice to see. And uh, 
I like that they went with this bracelet. So uh, if you look at a vintage Rolex Daytona, you'll see that it also uses so or hollow end links and a press clasp. So they're keeping true to the vintage aesthetics on this thing. Um, just a cheap press clasp, tons of micro adjust, simple to use, uh, hasn't popped off on me or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it, if you if you like the vintage look and feel of these watches, you're gonna love this, this clasp and this bracelet. Uh, you do have uh, you do have screw pins for adjusting, which is nice to see. And like I mentioned, you got tons of micro adjust there, so you're gonna get a good fit on this watch. And the big thing that that I take away from this bracelet is that it's comfortable. I mean, it, it does jangle around a little bit; it's a little jangly, but it's comfortable and it fits the the vintage look of the watch. So overall, I'm I'm actually pretty happy with this. Uh, with this bracelet. Uh, let's talk about any quality control issues. Uh, I had none on this thing. Um, everything lines up well and uh, you know the, the screw down action on the crowns worked perfect. I had no issues sizing it. Um, yeah overall really happy with the watch. So there you have it. That's the Alpha Chronograph. Um, go check out the uh, website and again I'm going to leave that link down below. Uh, also check out Alpha 93's uh, Instagram page. So he's been doing some giveaways uh, and obviously posting pictures of these watches. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a nice, it's a cool page to follow. Um, I'm going to be teaming up with him and doing some uh, Reddit giveaways as well. And yeah, we'll, we'll uh, be featuring a lot more Alpha watches on the channel. So uh, again, huge thank you to Alpha93USA.com. If you guys found this video useful or helpful in any way, uh, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Like I said, we're going to be doing some more giveaways on these watches. And uh, yeah, you're going to want to be subscribed to the channel. If you guys have a question or a comment, drop them down below and I'll get back to you. And I think that's about it. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.